Hi guys, Brooke from Mantis Illumination here. If you've been following the posts on the Zealand Crane 2 user group, you'll have known that I got the follow focus unit the other day and that when I put it all together, it didn't bloody work. That was so frustrating, not to mention absolutely disappointing as I was really excited to get it because follow focus is one of the things I've been really hanging out for on the Crane 2. But because I shoot Nikon, it's not compatible. So the follow focus unit guys, I'm happy to report, is working. Unbelievable, super excited. You can see here, it's moving. Woo so what did I have to do to fix it? And what are some things that you guys who are thinking about buying or may have bought it and it's not working, need to take into consideration before you jump up and down and go, oh shit, I've wasted my money. Pretty much like I did. So the first thing, I spoke to Zeon support today who, contrary to some of the things I've heard, were actually really quick at giving me some advice. They provided me with a new firmware version. So I had version 1.713 provided to me, which I understand is the most recent version, but not available on their website. Um, they did advise me that any version above 1.70 is required for the follow focus. Now, when you think about it, that makes perfect sense because the follow focus unit came out long before this little bad boy did. So my crane was running at 1.65 uh, on the firmware version, and I've heard some rumors that, oh, don't go to 1.70, it's gonna cactus your, your crane. I jumped right to 1.713, and guys, it works. So, so impressed, plugged it in, it works, it's moving the focus. A um, few quick things to report before I go into some extensive testing. It feels really smooth. You can see I'm, I'm moving it, move it slowly and it moves slowly, move it fast, it moves fast. I can barely hear it. There's a little bit of plastic on plastic gearing, but it's more that I can hear my lens focus moving rather than the actual follow focus itself, which is fantastic. All right, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of a test with the focus and see if I can't pull a quick focus between the front of my Mavic here and just one of my, um, my photos up on the wall here. So I'm going to jump out. What I'll do is I'll cut to this footage um, so you can see it. You'll still hear my voice over the top. Um, now, this is the first time that I'm using this, so I'm not expecting this to look amazing at any, by any stretch of the imagination. And you can see that that shot, that Mavic is now in focus and it's looking really, really good, nice and sharp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly just show you what happens. I'm moving it out. So I'm very gently moving my focus ring and it's moving ever so slightly, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up and have a look to the, to the left here on the wall. And those pictures are now in focus. And then I'm going to come back down. And that Mavic is now coming back into focus. That's looking great. Well guys, that's all from me right now. Um, I'm gonna bugger off and have another play with this and get some more focus technique under my belt. Um, like this, dislike this, I don't give a shit. Subscribe if you wanna hear more ramblings from me, from this Aussie. Um, all the best guys, and speak to you soon. See ya.